that's enough of that. Oh my chin, it's fucking... Hey, easy rider. People are so impatient. Oh yeah, and that's another thing I was going to talk about. I am so fucking annoyed, like, really, with this country and people and just people's general stupid stupidity. Uh, over the last three days, there's supposed to be a huge apocalyptic storm. Uh, yeah, bollocks. Um, the media whipped up into a frenzy, people have been panic buying. Look, does this look like a fucking storm to you? They said it was going to be, oh, it's going to be the worst storm you've had in 30 years, oh, death, destruction, oh, the country's going to be ruined, oh, and all this fucking bullshit. Uh, no. I mean, yeah, okay, you know, some places did experience a bit of wind and some flooding, but that's normal. I mean, places in the UK experience strong winds and flooding most winters, so... You know, what the fuck is going on? Oh, I hate this roundabout. This roundabout is seriously slippy as well. Especially this time of year. I don't like roundabouts. Especially this one. <coughs> um, but, hang on, I'll wait till I'm round around the view. You can see all the fucking grit and shit that's been left on the road. Take a nice wide line. Uh, but yeah, anyway, yeah, we were supposed to be forecast like 80, 90 mile an hour winds and it's supposed to be a hurricane and all this bollocks. Well, I'll tell you now, we didn't experience more than 25, 30 mile an hour winds. And where I work, we've got, I don't know, sort of 800 acres of woodlands, probably a bit more, like maybe. And yeah, we didn't even have a single fucking tweak broken. Seriously. And every bloody news channel, every radio station, every news, the newspapers are especially bad in this country. Um, you know, anything to make a fucking headline. And they're just all going on about how fucked we were and people were panic buying and... I mean, seriously guys, come on. Like, there's countries out there that get fucking slammed by tsunamis and fucking, like, you know, America that gets fucking raped by massive twisters and that and oh look we've got 30 40 mile an hour winds and everyone's acting like it's the end of the world and it even pisses me off like where I work uh, on the estate we have to put out wind boards when it gets slightly windy say like warning winds expected well I'm sorry but the world has weather it has had weather since its creation you'd be fucking stupid to not realise that at some point winds are expected and therefore trees and stuff generally should be avoided. I mean you'd still be fucking unlucky to actually have anything land on you if you go walking through woods in the wind but still it's like what people should not have to be told that you know woods can be dangerous or forests can be dangerous when it gets a bit windy. It just, it just begs belief. And, I don't know, this whole fucking cult... This, the world is getting stupider and stupider. I mean, it's like, you go in somewhere and there's like, taps. And one's blue and one's red. Hmm. I wonder why they're blue and red for. Oh, the red must mean danger, hot. That makes sense. But then there's fucking signs plastered all over the fucking place saying, Danger, hot water danger hot water well there's two things here obviously a red tap means hot fucking water Duh. do people have fucking signs up in their homes saying that a red tap is danger hot water no people know that fucking red taps are hot water so then yeah right I'm not fucking standing for that. Yeah, right, 
old man. Yeah, so why is it that people's brains instantly switch off when they fucking... Thank you. When they fucking go to another tap, it just... I don't know, it's just fucking stupid. But yeah, I just hate this fucking culture now where people are too bloody stupid. As soon as like, they leave their house, they have to be told what to do. And it's just, it's just fucking annoying for one. And it's sort of started this culture now where there's so many signs telling people, warning like fucking all sorts, that people switch off. And, you know, they ignore these signs and then shit happens. You know, we live in an imperfect world and things will happen, people will die, people will get hurt, it's just the way of things, you know, tough shit, you know, just be a bit more careful, people shouldn't need to be told that things are fucking dangerous, and we're, I don't know, we're babying people so much and we live in this health and safety culture where people expect that everything's going to be safe for them. No, you need to employ common sense. It just pisses me off. It's like, you know, I work with chainsaws and heavy machinery and stuff, and I don't know, it, you've got to be so switched on. Yeah, you know, you, oh, I don't know. I'm going to end this topic because it's just going to fucking send me into a rant and I'm going to be pissed off for the rest of the day. Um, but yeah, I, it just really, really fucks me. And as for the media and all this very storm business, well, they can fucking just shove their bollocks up their ass. It's just bullshit.